So, um, I know I'm late to the topic on this. I've been wanting to talk about it for a while. Um, thankfully, I have a good, like, update in terms of, like, what's being done about the matter. But I understand people being upset about, you know, it taking so long to be taken care of. But at least now, thank God, it's being taken care of. Maybe but you're wondering, what, like, what are you talking about? So... Twitch, you know, y'all know about Twitch. Twitch is like, you know, a streaming platform for like, you know, a lot of influencers. It's the, the most famous ones that come to mind is from Critical Role, you know, Matthew, the, the, with, the, with the M. Matthew and all his, you know, voice acting nerdy ass friends playing Dungeons and Dragons, you know, with, you know, Vox Machina and the Mighty Nine and soon to be their third campaign. Later on, later on, later on this month in October, of course, Ninja and and amongst many, many, many others, um, I think Pokemon, amongst many others that make that stream like the place to be and go to. Um, I know Maximilian Dude does a lot of streaming there with his fighting. There's a lot of streaming there with his fighting games too. Shout out to all those channels. Um, so. There's a lot of things, there's a thing, thing, thing going on lately called hate raids. If you're wondering, what the hell is that? Let me explain. Hate raid is where, like, people would, like, go to a transgender or a, um, or, or a black, Hispanic, or Asian, or a person of ethnicity, and then they were, like, go to that person's, like, Twitch stream, go to their channel, and just say the most transphobic, racist crap. They sound like bots. Transformers, transphobic, racist crap. So, instead of, like, being a normal chat, people like, you're doing great, or, like, oh, you pwned that guy, is, like, racist word, transphobic word, racist word, transphobic word, just filling up the chat, instead of, like, the usual, like, comments that they normally get and it's getting out of control and of course people are telling twitch hey twitch this is going on what are you doing about it and for a while they weren't doing a damn thing i have a great update they finally are in fact they found some of the people um that were involved um i don't know their names you could i know you can, you can look them up and I know I know Twitch is suing them. And I'll say this much. Good. I'm glad they're being sued. Because what they were doing is just downright disrespectful. I, I know it's still kind of an issue. But I want to give my two cents on the matter. I want to tell you a story. And this is a true story. It's not made up. In fact, if you want proof, go to my Facebook. And you'll see the photos. <sighs> so, um... From time to time, I think I mentioned it, either on Facebook and Twitter, I'm a big wrestling fan. I'm a huge, huge, huge wrestling fan. Um, and I think if you want proof, if you go to my videos here on my channel, I reviewed the recent pay-per-view for this year, Double or... Uh, not recent, but like AEW's pay-per-view that was done this year, Double or Nothing. I did a review on it. If you want to go check it out after my video on this you're more than welcome to um so i went to the double another thing fan convention that day um yeah i was at the double nothing fan convention that day and i met uh what was i met uh darby allen cody rhodes and then and the bucks all incredibly kind all incredibly kind um people very talented people, very kind, and I'm so glad I met those talented wrestlers. So, on Darby's line, um, uh, Statlander, who plays with this alien character on, um, on, you know, who, you know, on, uh, AEW, was on, was to the left of me on the line. I was on line for Darby, and she was on the left side, because it's kind of like a rope. And I was kind of close to where she could see me. 
she was kind of like standing on the table, I don't know, texting by her friends and family, whatever. And when she looked over to where I was at, all I did was like just wave and say hi. I just did a simple hi. That's it. I waved hi. She looked at me like I was a disgusting piece of shit. I know I'm not the prettiest guy in the in the world. I know I'm pretty damn ugly. I know that. But the way she was looking at me as if I was like giving her the bird and being disrespectful, which don't get me wrong, wrestling fans can be disrespectful. When I went I was there. I've been live plenty of times where wrestling fans can be just downright cruelly brutal. Cruel and just brutal. In the most insane ways. These guys are creatively insultive. No, no doubt about that. But all I did was just waved hi to her. That's it. And she looked at me like... Like I was like disgusting. And then, later on that day... I was like waiting on to meet Tony Schiavone. One of the announcers I grew up with... During the WCW days. During the WCW and uh, WWE Monday Night War days... He's a commentator for WCW, not for AEW. When I was online to see him, met him too. Great guy, humble guy. I even got a picture with him as well. Um, Dr. Britt Breaker, which funny enough, he helped get over, happens to just pop up from behind the curtain and it was like, not even a few feet away from me, like, a few feet away from me. Like, I could, like, go and touch her if I wanted to. Of course, I didn't. I'm not like that type of person. I'm not that person. I'm not that type of person to touch people without permission. So, all I did was, like, say, what's up? I just gave a look, like, you know, what's up? And she looked at me up and down like that, and she just, like, rolled her eyes and just kept walking. Again, like I was an ugly piece of shit. Kind of like Stan Lander and the, the other line. And, you know, it, it, it hurt. I'm not going to lie, it did. I mean, I'm, I'm not a... I, I'm gonna admit something to you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of myself I, at all, and that didn't help things either. And I and I have social media. I could have easily gone on here and say, you know, f those girls. They were a piece of shit to me. Go to their Twitter, go to their Facebook, and harass them. I could have done that, but I didn't. In fact, this is something we need, we need to start all doing. They had a match together. Funny enough, at one point. I just didn't watch it. I just didn't watch it. That's it. I ignore them. I just, and whenever they're on TV, I mean, I, I'm, I watch the wrestling someone else I like, but other than that, they're ever together, and I'm not going to watch it. That's the point I'm trying to make, is that if you don't like someone's content, if you don't like the Twitch streamer, you don't like how they're, maybe they're boring or not as charismatic as maybe a ninja or a Pokemon, or, you know, I hope I'm saying the name right, then don't watch. Watch stuff that you like. But don't go there and make bots and harass people by saying transphobic or racist stuff or just being a backseat gamer in, in general. Because no one likes those things, especially the former two. Just don't watch. You know what I'm saying? I had Brit, uh, Britt Baker and Statlander disrespect me to my face looking at me like I was dog shit and I might look like dog shit but you know what I do that when, when people disrespect me I block and ignore them and move on with my life I'm not gonna go there and harass people I'm not, you know I don't like someone I'm not gonna watch you that's it I move on but I don't know I don't know what's up with this new hot thing of like I don't I don't get hate watching I don't get that. If you don't like something, here's a crazy idea. Don't fucking watch it. It's just that simple. Don't fucking watch it. But not only you're watching, you're seeing horrible shit. Like, go watch a movie you like. Watch a series you like. Go play a game you like. But don't go and harass people. You're, it makes you an asshole. They're assholes to you. Block them and move on with your life. It's not worth it. Time is precious. If the pandemic has taught us anything, time is precious. You're here today and 
gone tomorrow. Use that time wisely to like do stuff that you love. Spend time with your family. Don't go and hate watch. It's, it's just a waste of your time and energy. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. It isn't. Again, those two ladies disrespected me. It made me feel bad. But did I go on here? And this, this happened a while ago. But did I come on here to say go harass them? No. I just ignored them. That's it. I don't watch. I don't watch. I don't. I won't buy their products, and I won't watch them wrestle unless they're wrestling someone I care. I, I like. I just won't watch them. That's it. That's it. I'm not gonna go on Twitter and, and Facebook or, or Instagram, or whatever, and harass them or get other people harass them. No, that's wasting time. That's just wasting my time. Just wasting time. Why can't use that time to do better things like make YouTube videos, play games, watch movies, watch series and anime, whatever. That's just wasting time. And time is a very, very limited. And I'm not going to waste my time hitting on someone. Or to watch stuff that I like and just hate watch on something I don't like. It makes no sense to me. <sighs> That's my advice. If you don't like it, don't watch. I'm glad Twitch is finally doing stuff. To all the, you know, black, Asian, or people that are trans... Or, Transgender people that were asked, my condolences. I'm hoping that Twitch, since they're suing these people, it's calming down. And maybe people will, you know, will calm down with this. But if you're still doing it, stop it. Use your time for better things. Alright? That's my advice on that. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section about this whole situation. I'll let you guys' thoughts on the matter. Thank you for watching the video. Have a good one.